he called Loganville police to his home for help and ended up being beaten up by officers. Well, Fox News' Caitlin Pratt is here tonight with that story. Caitlin? Russ, a minute. Kenny Dixon says he came home Wednesday to find his son had committed suicide. Crews responded to that emergency, but then Dixon says police made one of his family's darkest days even worse by attacking, then arresting him. Kenny Dixon has black eyes and scrapes on his face. Injuries, he says, that are in addition to his broken heart. The Loganville man found his steps on Wednesday dead inside his garage. The 24-year-old had committed suicide. I tried to do CPR on him, and I couldn't bring him back. When police and emergency crews arrived, Dixon says paramedics took over the rescue effort. One of the police officers came up behind me, grabbed my arm, and said, you need to sit down. Why he had an attitude, I don't know. But I jerked my arm away from him, and I told him, don't touch me. That's all I said to the man, and he tackled me. Dixon says other officers then joined in. Two allegedly held him down. Two others punched him in the face. What the heck is going on over there? Across the street, Lisa Neighbors says she woke up to screaming and looked outside. They were just wailing on him, punching at him, punching at him. You know, it was awful. I didn't swing at him. I didn't cuss him. I didn't do anything to deserve what they did to me. Dixon says officers put him in a police car and brought him to jail. He's charged with felony obstruction. Loganville police leaders called the incident a, quote, regrettable situation. The police chief telling Fox 5 he's called in the GBI to investigate. He says this agency has nothing to hide. Dixon has filed a complaint. He and neighbors say they're disgusted and want some answers. How could Loganville do that? How could they beat up on somebody who just came home and found their son hung? Loganville police leaders say the four officers involved are still working. Police leaders telling me, Russ, Amanda, there's a lot more to this story. We don't know those details yet. And again, the GBI is going to investigate. Just started their investigation today, we're told. All right. Thank you, Caitlin. Caitlin, thank you. Dunwoody police are looking for a man in connection.